I'm here with world number 18 and India number two, Gukesh. Gukesh, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Very well, Gukesh. I was able to catch you in between your two events, Spanish League and now the European Club Cup, which is going to happen. So we're going to do something very interesting. Um, we are going to solve positions by great composers who have composed studies for the Global Chess Festival of Judith Polgar and there is an event called Chess Adventure Artistry uh, and in that they have composed some original studies which are inspired by real life games and I wanted you to take an hour on the clock and see how many you can solve. Is this in, is this interesting for you? Yeah, generally I don't uh, I don't solve studies a lot, but uh, yeah, I always enjoyed uh, enjoyed st solving and yeah, this is very fun. Okay, let's see how how it goes. And also, you know, in between your two events, generally, do you prefer like taking rest because now this is like real hardcore practice, right? Mm -hmm. uh, no, generally I. Uh, I don't uh, like if there are like less than one week, then I don't do some serious work, but some some mild work is always going okay. on. So this is like a mild, semi-mild work. Uh, so let's let's get it started. The first position that we have is this one. It's by a very well-known composer called Sergei Diduk. And mm -hmm. it is white to play and draw. So whatever you're thinking, if you can think it out loud, then our uh, viewers can also sort of uh, learn from it. Yeah. So let me just make sure that the timer is done. Yeah, let's go. So yeah, black is uh, going to queen the pawn and we can't stop it. So. Uh, the first move that comes to mind is f6. Mm -hmm. So f6, b1, f7, let's see. And, uh, queen f5, g3. Yeah. Yeah, so if... Um, King e7 and king e8 are the two moves. Mm -hmm. King e7, queen g5 check. Maybe that's possible, but I, I think I would consider king e8 first. Okay. Queen e6, king f8. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think king g4 and right. this doesn't seem to work because the king is too close. So maybe I'll, I'll look for something else. The starting position, yeah. Okay. Would you, would you uh, go deeper here, or do you think this is lost? Maybe I'll I'll go deeper later, but uh, first you want to go from here. Lose. This should be losing. Okay. So yeah, G6 is, G6 doesn't work. So I think F6 is the only move. Okay. So B1, F7. Uh, Queen F5 check. Yeah, I think here maybe I need to.
Yeah, king e7 doesn't seem to help because queen g5, king e8, queen e3, and uh, yeah, those are all the points. So, right, right. So king e8 has to be paired. Right. Of right. And uh, yeah, queen e6, I think. Yeah. Has to be paired. King f8, king g4. So here maybe I can go deep. Mm -hmm. So the uh, first thing to consider is king g7, mm -hmm. but uh, queen e7, and, uh, it's hard to get out of this. Correct. This is losing. This is, this is losing. So king g8, king g5 doesn't help. So I think d5 is the only move again. d5. Okay, so the trick is queen d7, king g8, and king g5. So, uh, yes. Yeah. If g6. queen? King g6. Yeah, it's over. This is over, so. Ah, okay, so g6, king g5, king g8, I think is a. Um... Mm, smart. Maybe here, black can go king f6. Yes, because if you take knight. Yeah, if it takes the knight, so. This is over. So therefore, you start with king f6, queen, and queen then. And... So after king f6, uh... Black still doesn't have a threat, so. Both, both players don't have a movie. Yeah. A4. No. A4. I don't see a move for black. What should be blacks? Uh, if you were black here, what would you play? There's only one move here. Yeah, king g5. Mm -hmm. But uh, after g7, I can't see anything. Ah, wow. King h6 and uh, f8, king, king g6. Right? Yeah. Amazing, yeah? Yeah, this is beautiful. 
because now if uh, he's he's in a zugzwang he can't move his queen because there's a mate whatever pawn he pushes there is this hangs this hangs this check followed by this and this so this is lost yeah so after king g5 there is nothing after a4 king g5 here yeah. Because still black doesn't have a thing. But probably you can just go back and I'm losing moves. I'm out of moves. So. Yeah, I mean, what will you play? Like, you, it's mainly about Zug Zwang, yeah? That's the main thing, I think, here. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying to get the same position with black to play one. So you think if this position is black to play, it's a draw? No, um, I'm saying this, uh, the position where I fade queen and king Jesus. Ah. So king h8 is a move. But uh, queen h3 is still. Yeah. And then take this. So I guess king g7 is the only move. But then uh, just queen e7 and even the, that's over. That's over. So. Ah, so a4 is not correct. I don't know where you have gone wrong. Like there is, there are so many branches in the entire thing. So where do you think is where you have missed something? Because as you said, f6 is forced, f7 is forced, check is forced, king e8 is forced. So where exactly do you think? So king g4. Mm -hmm. um... No, after I saw a4, I thought it should be should be the answer. But okay. The thing is that you can reach that position in many different ways. Like you you can hear you your first instinct was always uh, d5, yeah. Yeah. But did you consider any other move? Okay, so king g7 is queen e7. King g8 doesn't help. Okay, a4. A4, <laughs> four I just take king g7. <laughs> Okay, G6 is some move, but I still don't get the point. Though. Uh, after Queen G6, you mean? Yeah. Also, King G5, I don't see. So, one at a time, both like Queen G, the King G5 is one, Queen G6 is another one. Yeah. So, Queen G6. Here I have to go d5 because uh, if king e7, then just queen e5. Yeah. And he takes the check. So I have to block the uh, queen g6. I have to go d5. Yeah. And let's say king f5, king e7. And he doesn't have enough checks. So yeah, this is a draw. This is a draw. And g6, let's say. Okay, queen g6, Sorry. there's no other move, so king g5. Yeah.
if g sun and just king f6 so ah, g8 knight this King G5, let's say. G5. Because if King G6, then Knight E7, and uh, I just move the King to E8, I think. King H7, King E8. Yeah. So, G8, King G5, let's say. And uh, D5. So, this is a draw. Yeah, it feels like because of the night, I can always block a lot of, Correct. of checks. So, although I don't see a clear way after Queen D7, I feel like there should be a draw. Maybe just Knight E. Queen D7, so, you can uh, maybe start to play for something, yeah? <laughs> King G7, maybe. Uh, I yeah, don't know. I mean, black is in trouble, perhaps. Okay, so, so here g6 is the best move but then there is a very nice diff like try like you tried queen g6 f6. and king g sorry queen f6 yeah queen f6 so g7 is queen d8 yeah so queen g7 is king Okay, I go d5, hmm. um, king, let's say to f5, yeah, somewhere, and king e8, yeah. queen g6, king e7. Yeah, draw, and same position. The pawn, there are not Correct. enough checks. So queen f6 also draws. So the move here, which is very, uh, like, fighting for something is queen d7. With the same idea. Same what you had seen, yeah? Yeah. So now I have to think about this A4 D5 trick, but uh, with a different mode. So. Mm. Ah, okay. I think D5. I mean, G7. Yeah, G7. No, sorry. King G8. King G8. Ah, King F5, G7. King King G5, King, uh, King G5, G7. So, let's say King, King G6 is F8. So, and uh, if Queen E6, it's just... Queen is just d5, so sorry, uh, king uh, g6 is just queens, yeah. Ah, you can make a knight basically. So, so queen e6 is d5, yeah, and uh, king f6 he has to go mm. f8, king g6, d5, a4, a3, right, means. So here, what will uh, black play for? Ah, yes, another trick. <laughs> Never ending tricks, yeah? Ah, A4. A4. But OK, A3. What will you play? A3? I don't trust you. <laughs> I'm just asking what will you play? I feel like Khan will become Karodpati Amitabh Bachchan. 
लव कर दिया जाए सो एफ ए किंग जी सिक्स एंड डी फाइव ए थ्री इज द ट्रिक आई थिंक एफ ए किंग जी सिक्स डी फाइव ए थ्री करेक्ट एंड ये इट्स अ वाइट हो इज इन ज़ूम ज्वाइन नाउ सो ए थ्री आई डोंट सी अ वे फॉर फॉर ब्लैक वर्क सो ए थ्री सो व्हाट व्हाट आर द टू व्हाट आर द पॉसिबल मूव्स फॉर वाइट हियर candidate so, d5 and a3 d5 and a3 so which one do you think is correct and why yeah so d5 a3 f8 king g6 as zooks one d5 a3 f8 right king g6 as zooks one but right so that it makes more sense to go a3 first but i'm not sure okay but we can try a3 yeah now you have to think of creative way for black yeah because if you play normally then i think white is okay If I show you this variation, you will tell me that this is not possible for humans to calculate. From this position. From this. Black black wins here. Yeah. But then you are not human, so maybe you can try. <laughs> ah, okay. How? I know. I thought. Uh... It's very it's D five queen this one yeah sorry queen e six D five queen this one yes yes but yeah. then it goes on then it goes on queen e six D five queen d seven D six no D6. if if uh, knight here just queen e seven yeah just queen e seven and wins so D six now only move for black. Yeah, he has to go king f six. But king f six, there is a defense. So f three to. Ah, king king h eight. No, king h eight. But queen h three and king g six. Ah, then I go king f eight. Yeah, or. Knight, and this is a draw. This is a draw. Check. So has to go king h six here. C five, right? Mm -hmm. Queen. Eight night. Uh -huh. I don't think I would have won. <laughs> Check. Now. Come on. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Or. What? Yeah. What? What's the move? Uh, F eight night. Yeah, night. <laughs> wins <Oof. laughs> 
<laughs> so that is why A3 is a mistake. <laughs> The right move here is D5. But it is not possible to calculate this, or do you think it it's is? It's not simple. It's simply not possible. If you take like an hour, two hours, I don't know. But also, okay, it also doesn't make sense. Eh? You have to like see all this queen uh, moves moving here and there. Mm -hmm. With D5, yeah. A3, and now the same variation. Ah, you don't take the pawn. Eh? Which one? You don't take the a three pawn because in the same variation you don't exactly. take that. Exactly in the same variation now. Like you should have invited alpha zero to try. <laughs> ah, but you take on a two. You take on a two, but this is a draw somehow because c six pawn is not lost. Um, but why was it not lost in the other variation? So like here. Uh, you are going. So you take on a three, b three, ah, c four. There is no uh, check, I think here. Those. So in the other variation, after queen takes a three, king f seven, it with checks he could reach mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. While here, when he takes on a two, king f eight, uh, a three square is gone. If the a three square was there, then black. <laughs> so by the way, just so that you know the person who has composed this his name. Did, did, some, did someone solve this no you are the first one whom i gave this ah. because this one was very i think very tricky uh and uh, i'm simply not sure if it's possible actually yeah it's uh, very difficult and he's the one who has composed it his name is sergey the duke okay so now maybe the thing is now everything will look easy after this but uh, you know this was uh, this was actually um, inspired by a game and it was inspired by the i think the game of your uh, i don't know maybe it's not the most accurate representation but just a second i'll just make sure that i have this Uh, Anna Muzichuk had played one game against Bartosz Sochko here uh, and this was the game and Anna Muzichuk had played here the move f6 and king f8 and then it was a draw I don't, I don't know if she had played f6 or she had gone rook d2 and then I think this is a lost position or something. But this was this and this study was inspired from. Uh, no, no, no. Actually, this no previous study was inspired. No, this was one. Okay, uh, I think I messed it up. But okay, let's look at one more study. Um, this time, one which you will like a lot. I don't know why. But white to play. Do you like such positions where there are so many pieces and all? Mm. I like more practical positions actually, but I also uh, find this very interesting. We'll come to practical studies in a bit, yeah. but first these ones. So this is by Grinev and Yarmonov. Both of them have together composed it. What's your first thought? First thought was uh, like to take the queen. Uh, With knight c6, yeah. King e8, knight a5, rook b5. And, uh, but this is not working, so. Okay. Yeah, like knight f5 and knight d5 doesn't lead to checkmate. So I believe at some point white has to play g7. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I'm curious about uh, the first mode G7 actually. Okay. Because um, at first I thought knight d5 check, king c8, knight d6, uh, king b8, g7, but rook h1 and queen a2. So king g2, queen a2. Wow, wow. amazing. So but maybe I'll um, I'll save the checks for like, an appropriate time. Yeah. So maybe for the first move G seven. But how do you know that you want to save two checks for the appropriate time or one check? Because I you gave two checks though. Yeah, yeah. So you can start with G seven now, or you can give one check and play G seven. How how to decide that? Or you are just confusing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just asking because one of them is correct. Uh, yeah, like th these are the two options, but I think let's start with G7 first and then and then we'll go. Uh, so now rook H1 doesn't doesn't make sense. Uh, rook H1 King G2. Rook H4 is just knight C6. So and uh, yeah, rook H1 doesn't make sense. But uh, if queen B5, then Knight F check. I have to I have to play. But King D seven, Knight F six, King C seven, and the King is running away. Right. So, right. yeah, maybe I'll, I'll start with a check. Check. If I King C eight and G seven. But if I do the same thing like rook h1, mm -hmm. king, uh, okay, king g4 maybe. Mm -hmm. Because king g2 is the same trick with queen a2 and I lose the pawn. So. Queen a2, king h1 and queen takes d5 and this is equal. So king g4. I'll not lose the pawn but uh, c2 is coming. So. Yeah. King g4. So confusing with so many pieces, I can't even understand what's happening. <laughs> what's so the what's the best try for black? Uh, rook h4 and rook g1 are two moves. Yeah. So if rook h4, then uh, king h4, yeah. queen d8. Yeah. Yeah, I have to block with one of the nodes. Yeah. Knight e, 
प्रैक्टिकल पोजिशन so this is by uh, branislav jurasevich who is a, a very good composer as well and this is from uh, olympiad there is a game called uh, the game of duda and injik and it's inspired from that game. i know kind of end of remember that game yeah so there was a rook and game so here uh, white to play this uh, why what should white play i mean such a position if you get in a game you would think you are losing yes as white yes so but there is a way to save okay, it's an answer it's like it's very hard to find yeah? correct I believe in that game also he didn't. In the game, uh, I think what happened was, it was a draw, somehow, uh, very similar position actually. Yeah. So let's say first move you play rook a one. Uh. Or was were you thinking of something else? Like my first con, uh, the concept I thought of was. Uh, just giving checks, but now oh, rookie four. Two, it doesn't. Yeah, king d five. Rookie five, king c four. Rookie four, king d three. Rookie three, king d two. And I'm out of checks. Right. This probably doesn't work. Also, if you give like check here, uh, and I go like king d seven, I think you will run out of checks here also. C six, a four. Yeah, G six A four. It's probably less. So, Rook A one. And this is the correct one. Yeah. And now Black plays A four. And now, if you can find this move, then you can save the game. I have no idea why this is the right. <laughs> crazy. This move I think is crazy.
So rook f1. No. <laughs> uh, maybe king e4 and then rook f4. Hmm. So now I am going to tell you the answer. You have to explain me why. Okay. That is also important. It's not the, Sorry? Not the move, king e4. King e4 is the most logical move, but it loses. So there is a sort of an illogical move. But you have to understand why king e4 loses and why that illogical move draws. No, but my uh, idea is to get the get rook f1. So king e4, suppose. Yeah, let's bring... say let's say now black has only one move to uh, draw. Uh, sorry, win. Because if you, if, I mean, the most natural is b4. Okay. But then after king d4, it's a draw somehow. b3, king c3. I thought I have to stop the king from getting to the g pawn. Maybe it's not important. But how? Like here, if suppose he wins this pawn, uh, you can go here. So that's why you are in time. Oh, okay. Rook c8, king b4. Rook c8, king b4. So his only move to win here, black to play. Rook H8. Very close. Rook H8, King D4. Yes. Hmm. King D4, King D6, just King E4 back. Or... Maybe King C3. Okay, just Rook C8 then. Yeah. No, uh, I mean, instead of Rook H8, Rook C8. Yeah, if Rook. Rook c8, then king d3. Maybe he doesn't want some check, yeah? Like check and rook g4, maybe that's why king d3, not king d4. Mm. Here the right move is somehow rook g8. Rook g1? So if rook g1 here, then b4. King d3, rook c8, rook g4, rook d8, king c2, b3, king b2, rook d2, king c3, rook c2, king d3, rook c1 wins. It's not allowing me to go to d4. Yeah. And also, like uh, in other lines, if black plays a before the rook is stuck on a edge, so correct. So he's uh, distracting the rook. Yeah. So for you here, instead of king e4, because this is the only way to win for black, like rook g8 and all, you have to find a move for white now, which is drawing with with this variation, like what we saw with king e4. King e3. Yes. Why 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 do you think king e3 works? Rook j rook g1 b4 rook g4. Or rook g4 here, uh, then rook b8. G no. If g6 somehow a3. B3 doesn't work. B3 g7. Are you uh, queen first and then take the pawn? B2. Uh, here, this move, yeah? No, I thought uh, like g7, king f7, maybe, but. Uh, g7, king f7. Or g8, uh, queen, queen, and then. And you take one, right, correct. Mm -hmm. So, g here, a a3 is winning somehow. g7, a2. Hmm. So here you have to find again the defense. Hmm. 
you need your king ah huh? yeah the only difference i can think of is king d2 yes but it doesn't make much sense b3 as in the same no but if b3 king c3 is already drawn no so in the previous line it was rook uh, c8 was the move king king was on d3 uh -huh. then we were going rook g4 and then you went uh, rook then he was playing this move rook d8 check here when the king was here so king c to b3 just coming with a check now you can go to c1 ah, that's that's amazing <laughs> that's... if i just go rook b8 is it so just uh... so rook b8 is the main move yeah. now and now white to play Okay, G six. Uh, if you play G six here, then B three and A three both are winning. Ah, uh, if A three, I I thought I go G seven. G seven, King F seven. Ah, uh, A two, Rook G one. Or Rook G one first, and then A two. No, ah, uh, King F seven, G eight. Ah, uh. Rook G eight, Rook B four, Rook G one. I think. Yeah, Rook G one. so only move here is c king uh, c c2 or c1 wait now you know right in this if not king e4 king king e3 not king d3 king d2 so now king c2 or king c1 yeah king c2 b3 is so for king c1 Yeah, King C one is the best move, but although I think King C two, uh, B three, King B one somehow works, and it's a draw. Hmm. Yeah, A two should be a draw. So therefore, here the um, right move is King F five, and Black is somehow winning here. And why is King C one, King F five not working? If king c one, king f five, here then rook c four. Do you understand? I don't understand. No. <laughs> <laughs> rook c five, king f six, rook a five. A three. A three. Put the king on uh, b three. King c two, b three, king a p one. So, but I won't play B three. So then I'll come King B three, no? Mm. That's a draw. And why was this not working with King on C two? So if you had gone King C two, King F five, Rook C four, King G five, check, King F six, Rook A five, B three. Ah. Rook B four. Rook B four. I didn't know that A three B four pawns was a draw. A three B four is a draw and B three A four is not. Yeah, that is. Okay. Because probably uh, black can chase the rook in this case. Like from black can come like this. Then rook goes here, and then he can move his rook and give a check and. But maybe the uh, point is that uh, with the a three before the uh, rook has to defend the pawn, yeah, because so let's now say b three, the rook is also free. So. Ah, right, right, right. I mean, the rook cannot defend like this. Hmm. Yeah. If the rook was here, let's say for example, rook h. Sorry. Why not rook h eight? Yeah, rook h eight. Then uh, king b three, rook h four, rook b five, king e six, rook b eight. This is still a draw.
Look deep. Yeah. So what is the logic? <laughs> I'm just saying. Also, um, I think B4 pawn is uh, needs protection from the rook. Yeah. While in the A4, A4 pawn white does not have king A3. So, ah. so white B2 is coming. They are attacking B3, but. Uh, the A4 pawn is protecting B3. I don't know, something like that. Mm. But this is a good uh, concept to remember. Mm. Okay. It's A3, B4 is surprising. Yeah, in the game it uh, happened King C1, A3, King B1, B3 and Rook A4. Yeah, okay. A2, B3 should always be. And you shouldn't play G6 here because then B3, Rook A4, B2, King B1, Rook B3. This is a win for black. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Ooh, was I was uh, like this in that game also. Or? In the game, I'll show you what happened. I remember I was watching this game. Ah, you were you were uh, seeing it, huh? Yeah. It was one second. At the venue or uh, afterwards you saw? No, no, no. Uh, like, in follow chess. Okay. So, here, this was the game. It went A4. Mm. And it ended in a draw like this. But I don't know, he got in, uh, the, the composer, Jural... Sevik, uh, he got inspired by this position to compose this. I don't remember very well, but I also had a similar game against Abdus in, in uh, one of the, like Julius Bell, uh, this junior uh, championship. But in these uh, sort of uh, less time, two pawns will generally win, yeah? Mm, yeah. It's very I'm tough to sure defend. I if it was uh, two versus one or three versus two, hmm. probably it was three versus two in my game. And you had extra pawn? No, he had extra pawn. And what happened? I think I had a draw at some point, but I lost it. Okay. This is by Arpad Ruz. Hmm. Uh, and white to play and draw. I don't uh, know if you if you get such a position, would you feel that this is a draw or would you feel this is a win for? Uh, at first, it looks like an easy draw ah. because you can get checks, but I'm I think there is some difference here, which I'm missing. Okay, the king on uh, white's king on center doesn't help it should be in some corner i think so where which corner you think is the best depends on where the pawn is eh? a pawn is here no b2 so here which which corner is the best for white king mm, h8 eh? mm -hmm. so so uh, let's play around a bit so first check king c6 check king c5 check king here check king here Check, king here, check, and now king b1. King f6. <laughs> yes, correct. Yeah, I remember that uh, you should be in the uh, opposite, like, corner. Correct. Uh, opposite the corner, like as, as far as possible from the pawn. So, so check. King uh, g7. Check. H8. Yeah, fantastic. This is the only way to draw because but, all uh, other squares are uh, losing. Just one doubt in the starting position. Like, how is black escaping if I just give queen d3 check? King e8. Queen b5. King f8. Ah, you go to h7. Hmm. Say check. Yeah, maybe. King G7. G7. Check. 
check. Oops, sorry, check. King is that's a bullet trick. Queen B6. <laughs> Queen D6. Queen G6. Yeah. yeah. And wins. So that's why he had to give this check and bring the king to B. Actually, bring the king to the pawn and then. Correct. And then... Which is which is kind of counterintuitive. Yeah, you feel like keep the king away. But here you bring it closer and then you put it on the corner. King A1, Queen C3, King A2, check. King A1, Queen A6, Queen D4. There's also Queen E5, which draws Queen D4. Also, if the king is on uh, g8, for example, is, is it still a draw? No, like, it, like... this is losing. King g8, queen, ah, queen a2. a2 is coming. No, but uh, let's say if I get my queen to c3, king a1. Let's say here uh, I pass the move and yeah. I play queen c3. Yeah, king a1, let's say. Yeah. No, here let's say queen a4. So I have to go back. Where? H8. Yeah, if you go king H8 here, now king A2. Ah, okay. And wins. Because queen D2, check. King G7, check. No, it's very hard yeah, to do this. King A1. King A1. Somehow you got everything, yeah, here. So what what is the difference if the if my king is on h8? If you play queen a4, king h8. Like... If you now play uh, queen, you know, no, queen is in c4. So let's say king a1, queen queen c3. Yeah, I play queen a4. Queen a4 now. Then queen e5. queen e5. And there is no queen b3. If I play like king a2, queen d5. Check is there. What was the difference? Like here, uh, he had because the king is on. If the king is on g8, I can play king a2 and uh, I can pin here. Yeah? The king a2, queen d5, queen b3. Ah. No, but, but he had played king on h8. We saw this variation here with king h8, queen king a2. Mm -hmm. There was no check. If there was check here, it's a draw. Yeah, if there was check, it's a draw. Oh, this is not easy to even remember. Yeah. Um, I think it's possible. Yeah, you. I mean, you can just remember that the king belongs on H8, H8 mm. not G. Draw. You don't even need to remember. I think you can just figure it out. Yeah, but no. I mean, the thing is, we would think that even King G8 would draw, but that does not somehow. If the king is on G8, yeah. so that's the main thing. Only King H8 draws. Okay, here is one. I think this one you would remember this game uh, from. It is black to play. Oh, sorry, white to play. White to play. Uh, Sprenger is the composer. You remember this game? No. Piruja Nakamura from Candidates. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's inspired from that. Oh. So what should white play here? Suppose you had as much time in the game as is left below me uh, and you have to make the move as white. What would you play? The practical decision to take. So you have one minute more you can think. 
it's surely some king move okay think and yeah otherwise at stake is uh candidates <laughs> candidates okay <laughs> entry into candidates 2025 and now make the move go on uh, king d2 king d2 b3 b3 yeah somehow it holds king the the right move here is not a king move b3 mm oh b3 i, I thought about this but couldn't see what to do after c3 c3 only move ah king e1 e3 king d1 yeah yeah king e1 should have been because you must have done king d1 probably e3. and then e3. this is a draw hmm but uh, king e1 e3 king d1 let's say i go king h8 only move no, i mean not only move but basically king g7 bishop g3 yeah hmm e2 king e2 here yeah. king 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 c2 king e2 king c2 king e1 king c1 the king e2 is not only <laughs> yes king e2 knight f4 <laughs> king e1 king e1 good move c2 king d2 c2 king d2 uh somehow king g7 draws uh but bishop g5 forced king g7 i just take on no king e2 but knight e7 check king g king d2 mm. and uh, what was the difference with the other line actually the so, bonus king e1 king g7 you mean c2 here oh you mean king, uh, king c2 d1. king d2 you mean right Which no no say? um like instead of uh, king e1 king d1 the king was already on g7 yeah it's just one tempo extra. one tempo extra because he had to go to h8 because of being the zoom zoom mm. there okay fantastic uh, so these were some new positions which i gave you um let me let me ask your uh, thoughts very quickly this because time is up but mm -hmm. just very quick thoughts on the few positions which i have given others to your get your intuition like you cannot solve them all because it will take a lot of time but what do you think should we try yeah we can okay 
What is the first move for white that comes to your mind? This is by Martin Minsky. Rook e2 is the first move that comes to mind. Amazing. And after check, now this is this one. Where do you would you put your king? Okay, now I have to say like the last move that came to my mind. <laughs> First move that King came F1. to King? King F1 is the like it's very counterintuitive, Correct. so maybe it stands. Okay. King F1. This is this is actually very tricky. Um so so let's say you put the king in floating, yeah, in the air right now. Mm -hmm. And black takes rook b3. What would be your move there? So the king is floating somewhere uh, between h2, h1, f1, three squares or g2 also uh, in case. But now he has taken on b3. So what's the move that you will play? Any game that reminds you of this concept? Um, like I have seen this concept, but I don't remember which it's, game. It's by famous Indian player. Similar concept. He played a move and then he resigned. Like he played a move and then he... he not he... here, but similar idea. So I can... And you know that game very well. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so... So this game we played queen b5 and resigned because of queen f3. So same concept here. Were you able to spot this in that position that this is happening? Yeah, I'm trying for knight h5, but I, I don't know. How. So you, you wanted the king, uh, queen out yeah. from h5. Yeah. Okay. So king f1, uh, I mean, king floating. <laughs> uh, floating king, rook b3. I don't know how to get my queen out. Queen, queen f3, f3, let's say. Yeah, queen f3. Queen right. But if king is on f1, oh. then it is gone, right? Because yeah, yeah. rook f3 check. So king h1. <laughs> why why king h1 and why not king h2? I need rook h2, yeah? When? After queen f6, king g8, bishop h7. Awesome. But uh, king h2, queen a8. Uh, yeah, exactly. Everyone used to get scared of this, but now King H2 is just over because uh, Queen is needed there on F8. So everyone, no one wanted to play King H1, yeah, because of this one check. Yeah. But it's the move. So that was the beauty of uh, here check, and you need this H2 square. Uh, amazing. Then uh, this one very quickly. This is by Gurga Nidse. Black to play and uh, what is the result of this position? So just the just the thing that comes to your mind because anyway it's not like I would guess it's it should be winning somehow. But... Right, uh, black to win, yeah. Black to play and win. So, yeah. Check. King g2. G2, queen e2. Yeah. King, uh, have to go to h1. Yeah. And. Uh... Yeah, king h1. Check. Queen f1. King h2. Now the problem is if queen f2 check, you go king h3. There is no knight f2 that you saw. So now after queen, uh, sorry, queen f1, king h2, what's the best try for black? Uh, 
Knight F6. Yeah, correct. But Bishop G2, I couldn't see anything. So this is the famous game of Carlson uh, Karyakin. This will give you a hint. That's a queen at six. No. So if bishop here. Just knight g for queen g. Exactly. Exactly. So in the game between Carlson and Karyakin, this was their world championship match. Yeah. And it went h5, h4, a2. Queen was deflected and resign there's a mate so the yeah. same concept you are using and so black wins right mm. so it's the same yeah queen g so here check king here check uh king h1 just check 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 here knight f6 and bishop g2 knight g4 king h3 queen g1 resign and there are no checks yeah Queen so it's queen b uh, queen b8 king g7 queen b2 e5 correct you were saying so this is now in this entire thing where do you think can white save himself which point yeah, till knight f6 it's four correct I have to give some check before bishop g2. Ah, which, one? Which, one? which one and why? Okay, if queen b8, let's say, king g7, there is queen e5. Right. So, king f7 or h7, I have to go. King f7? King f7. Bishop g2. Why ah, is no. it necessary? Queen f4. Queen f4. Yeah. So only move is? King h7, I have to go. Yeah. And the same position. Oh. <laughs> queen b1, bishop e4. Exactly. This queen g1 check takes bishop e4 and still me. And, and in the Carlson game also, the same thing was happening. But the problem was that um, he didn't have, like in the final position, if you remember, mm -hmm. uh, he couldn't he couldn't do this same trick because there was a pawn on e4. So, I'll just put that position. If it was not there, he could have done the same thing. So, I think he got inspired. It's pawn on e4. Yeah. So, here, if that wasn't there, he could have done queen b1 and... Bishop e4 with still mate. So that was the inspiration. Uh, here is one more. If the pawn was not there, bishop e4 and probably he can even win. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that is true. Okay, white to play. What is the first move that comes to mind? This is by Timon. A6. Yeah. A6, queen c6. Queen G2. Queen G2. Resign. That's over. That is over, huh? No. Ah, rook E2. Rook E2. Resign. E2, King C1, Rook C2. King B1, Rook B2. King A1, Rook E2. Rook A2 and uh... Rook A2, King B1, Rook B2, King C1, Rook C2, King B1, Rook. Let's <laughs> let's dance with the Rook. <laughs> Draw. This reminds you of a famous game? Yes, Tenet's. No? Tenet's game. Tenet's von Bardelebet. So, so Rook E2, I'm thinking how to get out. So, this is all correct. What, what is the point of all this? And when do you decide to take the rook? <laughs> Not sure. Uh, 
I should take take on D two with the B two pawn gone. Yes, fantastic. And then also finish the line because queen D two, queen H one, king C two, king C two, queen E four, king B two. Then the black defend. Ah, some more. Queen E seven. And then I go queen H two. Queen H two. Ah, it still goes. Queen G seven. Queen G seven. Queen D six. Queen D six. So king D one. Amazing calculation. And king goes to A three. Oh, beautiful. Uh, this one, uh, you should take. Ah, this was from Timan. This was by Timan. The, this one you should take only uh, 30 seconds to find the answer okay ready yeah white to play it's by apec it's a study but still f5 yeah. bishop h5 f5 bishop h5 yeah so f6 king e6 E eight and F seven. Yes, correct. You got it. <laughs> Amazing. F five, Bishop F five, F six, King E six, and this not so easy. Yeah, sometimes you can miss this. Bishop E eight yeah. and F seven. King takes knight D six, Bishop. Uh, I have solved a lot of studies because I like uh, that amazing book is there. Yeah, it's well, a, uh, this practical uh, chess beauty. Yeah, I used to solve solve a lot of studies from that book. So you know him well. You know, once you solve one composer's many studies, you get a feel for his solving style, like a composing style. Okay, this one is by Stefan Nielsen. He's a very famous composer. Yeah, I've read the article. Yeah. On it. Also, once Kartikeyan had solved all his studies, there was this one video which we had done. Ah, okay. So this one, uh, first move that comes to your mind is what? White to play. Like at first, I got excited uh, that I found the answer, but which one? Like I saw Queen A one, King G eight, Bishop B six, Queen E seven, Knight G six, but F E six check. Oh, nice. Queen A one, King G eight. Uh, bishop e six, queen e seven. <laughs> oh, if it was not also a check, I don't know what happens. So queen a one d four. So. Right, but the first move that came to your mind is not queen h one or queen h five, but queen a one. Checks are always uh, like first thing that comes to your mind. Mm. But yeah, queen h five is also very logical. Why would you say queen a one is Something that can be played instead of queen h five. I don't know. That's the first thing that came to my mind. Correct. No, it's not so simple. This is a tough one. This study can be solved like the the previous four were more like you know you can think 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 and do, but this one is very uh, complex mm -hmm. because there are many points, but. Okay, the point is queen a1, forcing d4, then you go queen h1, queen, queen, b6. queen b6, now what do you play? Your intuition is just tremendous. So now what is your intuitive feel first? Like rook e six or bishop e six is the two moves I would consider. Which one is the correct one? One just is bad. Hmm. Bishop e six should be the move. No, bishop e six blocks the rook's path. So queen b two check. And I can't escape. You can't escape the checks. In fact, you lose the game here. Ah. So rook e six, check. 
rookie two. Rookie two goes back. Now bishop e six. Now bishop e six. King here. The beauty of this puzzle is that uh, rook came on e6. Now bishop came on e6. Now one more guy. <laughs> Um, bishop f5, knight e6. Yeah. Bishop f5, yes. King h8, knight e6, and wins. But uh, bishop f5, if I go king g7. Yes, now knight h5. King h8, ah, okay. king h8 queen g2. And wins. There's a mate here. And if you go rook here, then uh, take. take and mate. Okay, last one for the day. You almost solved everything. Uh, this is the Over most... Time. Huh? Over time. Over time. But, no, I mean, in the end, I just wanted to show you some... Because the positions which you solved, I thought were very tough. Because they were all very calculation-oriented. While if you see the first few ones, they were also calculation-oriented, but with a sort of more thematic. Hmm. No, the first one was... Crazy. I would say it's impossible, but but the next third one, yeah, they were very tough. Yeah. So here, what makes this puzzle beautiful, like this study by it's by uh, Stefan Nielsen and Gear Ostmo. Two people have composed it. So first move that comes to mind is knight h5. Yeah, knight uh, h5, king h8. The queen e4 is queen e4, most... correct. And now, uh, if queen b6, you have queen, queen f4. Or queen f4. So queen b8. Looks hmm. very complicated. So, so I'll take you to that position, okay, where you will find this move. Knight f6, yeah. uh, if you play knight f6 here, then there is this bishop d3. Bishop d3. Queen f4, queen f8. Queen f4, queen f8. Rook b7, just rook f8. Yeah. yeah that... So the move here is bishop c6. Very surprising move. Okay. You saw, but queen d6. Queen d6. Okay, now one second. Instead of queen d6, if knight takes c6. Rook c6. Or queen, no, rook c6, queen e8 is there. Queen e8. Ah, rook c8 d7. <laughs> rook c8 d7. And wins. Okay, so this doesn't work. He cannot, he cannot take back with the knight. So queen d6. Now, what's the move? Crazy moment is going to come now.
d5 here if you if you play d5 then knight d3 knight d3 and knight f2 ideas and so the move here is not the crazy move yet so i will show you bishop a4 okay knight c6 uh, if knight c6 bishop c2 this is a middle game man <laughs> <laughs> so so he played the move c2 okay make, make going to make a queen so he played queen takes c bishop takes c2 bishop d3 sorry bishop d3 or... yeah bishop d3 classy move yeah and this saves the day for black so, or does it This move might be the most beautiful move you have seen in recent times now. Wait up, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about queen even, but don't don't look at simple now look at beauty final move of our session today wait yes yes oh my god <laughs> wow <laughs> amazing yeah rook a6 rook a6 <laughs> what a move man everyone can take it knight bishop rook pawn queen <laughs> but everything anyone who takes it loses and uh, did someone find this i i did it like with prag just like how i do, did with you like mm -hmm. quickly i didn't give him enough time but he oh. found this uh, rook c8 and rook a6 just like you did you know quickly uh, <laughs> so it is inspired by this game by the way you know we have solved this when we were uh, ah yeah young. you know this tactic Okay, but this is rook a6 is way more beautiful. Right? Yeah, it's so beautiful. It so it just shows his uh, Stephen Nielsen's beauty of composing. So, Gukesh, did you enjoy the the studies solving? Very much. <laughs> and and uh, do you think like solving studies is a very good way to improve at chess, like for youngsters who are trying to improve? Yeah. Like I used to study, I mean, solve a lot of studies, but uh, recently I have been I haven't been doing doing a lot, but yeah, it does does help. I think it uh, help. Like first of all, there is this beauty part, and also like um, maybe helps you keep uh, keep sharp. Sharp, yeah, and, and also you, sort of imagination, creativity, calculation, everything rolled into. Yeah, it's. One. Surely one of the most traditional uh, uh, training methods. Correct. Surely very good. And also sometimes these composers uh, are, are geniuses, yeah, the, the way they compose. All of them are geniuses. <laughs> so, so it's very nice to do this. And I think, uh, thank you, Gukesh, for your time, for, for yes. spending this. Sorry. So, no, so amazing all these positions if if you save rook end game with two pawns with a3 and b4 then <laughs> one day we'll be like oh, okay it was because of this how chess base india help group <laughs> <laughs> you already thought of the title of the video <laughs> okay thanks Ukesh. bye